Hello everyone, my name is Ryan Cam, and welcome back to my special series of Halloween-themed reviews. I've already reviewed Coraline and Paranorman, if you'd like to check out those, I'll be sure to put a link in the description below. But for now, let's move on to Wallace and Gromit, The Curse of the Were-Rabbit. Now, this is not necessarily dipped in the Halloween themes, but I needed to find a half-decent excuse to talk about Ardman. And it's got some scary stuff in it, so it, here we are. But before we dive into the actual movie, let's talk a little bit about Wallace and Gromit. They were originally created by Ardman Entertainment. They were originally a series of shorts that actually are pretty hysterical. If you can find them, you know, they're worth your time. Including The Wrong Trousers, where the main character, Wallace, fights with a very evil penguin over a pair of bionic legs. I cannot make that up even if I tried. But in this movie, Wallace and Gromit form a company called Anti-Pesto, and their job is to catch pests. More specifically, rabbits who are munching on people's gardens. But they take on their biggest test yet, both figuratively and literally, as there is a massive rabbit who is just taking on every vegetable in sight, and it's called the Were-Rabbit. I think that Artman is one of the more underrated animated studios going today because they come out with a movie like every three or four years or so, and it's always very entertaining. Some of their other works include Chicken Run and Flushed Away. But what makes Wallace and Gromit special are the chemistry between Wallace and Gromit, his dog. The chemistry between these two are just so good, and it's so funny. Like, Wallace, he is just... he's dumb. He really is dumb. But by God, he tries. And Gromit is basically the dog who catches him before he goes completely off the cliff. Gromit does not speak a word but he communicates so much through his eyes and his facial expressions. I love that. He can communicate more with one eye roll or one face palm than he ever could if they just gave him a bark or actually made him speak dialogue. You've got Helena Bonham Carter playing Lady Toddington, and this is probably her best role ever. Even though in the movie she does dress like a legit carrot, I cannot make that up one more time, she, this is her best role. But the most awesome character in this entire movie is Victor Quartermain, voiced by Ralph Fiennes. This guy is hysterical. If you were to take every macho British stereotype and roll it into one character, Victor Quartermain would be that character. Maybe one of the more underrated cartoon villains of all time. He is so funny. And of course, this movie is in claymation. I feel like I've been reviewing a lot of claymation movies, but I respect the craft so much, but that I just can't help it. One of the more underrated aspects of Wallace and Gromit in general is the action. Because in animation, you can control every frame that appears on screen, which makes the action spectacular. Look up Wallace and Gromit Curse of the Were-Rabbit Airplane Chase on YouTube. It is the funniest action scene that I've seen in a very long time. It's this battle between Gromit and Quartermain's dog, and they're battling on this kid model plane, and then the plane stops and because it's out of money. And so Grummet's like, wait, I can pay for it. And he reaches back and he gets his wallet and he's searching through his wallet and he can't find a coin. And then Quartermain's dog is like, no, 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 I got it. And then he pulls out this girl's handbag and he clips it like one of those steel clips where it goes like that. You know, he gets that, he opens that and he's rooting around and he finds a coin and then he sticks it in and then they resume the battle. That is hysterical. In the end, you guys, Wallace and Gromit, The Curse of the Were-Rabbit may not be for everyone. You're like, okay, you've reviewed movies with dark imagery and stuff like that, and then you move on to this. Like, if there's a kid's movie out of all of them, this is it. This is definitely one of the more kiddie movies I'm going to be reviewing in this series, 
But the movie is still very well done. It definitely is worth your time. And it's a quick watch. It's only, I think, like 90 or so minutes. I'm going to give it an amazing grade. I think it's criminally underrated. It's one of the more underrated animated movies of the past decade. Or, well, last decade. Uh, hunt it down if you're interested. But that's all for me, guys. I had to push this review a day ahead because I, I'm in college as well as doing YouTube and some of my college assignments were too imperative that I had to put this video off for a day. But I will be reviewing Frank and Weenie, which will come out on tomorrow. And I am looking forward to that very much. If you like this video, please be sure to leave a like. And if you saw the movie, leave your thoughts in the comments section below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. My name is Ryan Cam, and I'll see you in the next one.